Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Kevtech here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Um, happy Saturday. And today I want to go over um, Lab 14. So if you guys don't know, I have like a playlist of Help Desk. So this is Help Desk Lab 14. I'm um, going over a, a, a delegation access, um, delegate control, and account lockout status tool. Obviously, if you're new to mention, I'll do IT videos, that's the support videos, talk about how to get into IT. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you know when I go live. Really appreciate it, okay? So let me share my screen with you and show you what I'm talking about. So today um, should be an easy video. It shouldn't be too complicated. I'm gonna go over um, account lockout status tool. So if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. We're gonna go over it today. Why I'm going over that and show you how it works. So that's one thing. The second thing I'm gonna go over is delegation control, which is done in Active Directory. I got over this before on a long video, but I'm gonna make it in this, I'm gonna add it to this video so you guys understand more how it works, okay? Let me share my screen with you, give me a second. All right, so I'm on screen one right now. So for lab 14, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go control delete. Um, you guys already know I have my own domain controller right over here. We're gonna log into this and I'm gonna open that up. So what I'm gonna do is let me close out my Discord. People are messaging me. I don't want people spamming me while I'm doing this. All right. So you guys remember, right? We 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 downloaded a bunch of so we downloaded PDQ. We have Active Directory. So we have a bunch of stuff set up today. I'm gonna show you how to give someone limited access on Active Directory. That's what delegation control means. That's literally what it means. It's just, it's just all right. I only want you to reset passwords. All I want you to have access to. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into uh, Active Directory users and computers, all right? Uh, I'm gonna go to users, I'm gonna right click on user, I'm gonna hit new, and I'm gonna hit a new, I'm gonna make a brand new user. So let's just pretend that this is a consultant, a con a contractor, right? And they, 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 they only need access to reset passwords because they're, they're helping you, they're helping you reset passwords for other users or other clients. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a brand new person and I'm gonna call him Scott, right? I'm like, wait, what, Kev Scott, really? Oh, yeah, Scott. So I'm gonna hit enter, right? And it's asking me for updates. It's gonna open that, I'm just gonna ignore that. Um, and I'm gonna put capital W welcome one, capital W welcome one. And I'm gonna just create the account called Scott, right? Finish. So now Scott is right there. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click. Remember I spoke about different OUs. I'm gonna right click here and I'm gonna hit new and I'm gonna hit organization unit, right? And then I'm gonna call it, let's call it, Con Sultans, right? I'm gonna hit okay. So then you're like, oh wait, Kevin, you just created a new one. I'm like, yeah, I did. And I'm gonna grab Scott, right? I'm just gonna throw him in there. So I'm like, there we go. It says, do, do you want to remove this object? Yes, I do. So now Scott is in here. So now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this thing called delegation control. So you guys don't know what that is. I, I gone over before delegate control. Basically, you right click on that person, you hit, you hit OK, you hit Next, you hit Add, and I'm going to look for Scott, right? I'm going to hit Next. And I only want him to reset passwords, so I'm going to give him the reset password option only. I'm going to hit Next, and I'm going to hit Finish. So now Scott is fully set up, good to go. So how do you test that? What do you, how do you test that? So I'm going to log in as Scott, and I'm going to show you what that does. So what happens is when you have delegation control, delegate control, they only have limited access to what you want them to. There's actually, if you right click on dele delegate control, it does more than that. It's very in depth. So you could do different things on it. I'm just for the sake of today's video, I'm just going over how to do reset password. So you imagine you have like a consultant, right? Like Scott, for example, you just hired him. Uh, he's brand new. You just want him to do help desk tasks, like just resetting passwords, right? So that's literally what I give him access to do. So I just, I give him access to do that, right? And um, let's see, capital. I'm putting two T's, two T's, three T's. Welcome one. There we go. So um, just imagine he's a consultant, right? He's just brand new to IT. And, and it's just like, I want him uh, and your managers, I just want him to have the ability to just do password reset on Active Directory. I don't want him to have access to any of these other things. So that's the purpose of today's video. It's just showing you how that would be done in your environment. So you might be in a job environment that you're doing help desk, right? 
and you only have limited access to do certain things in your job environment because you only have the password reset function. This is probably what they did for you, if that makes sense. So for him, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna wait for everything to load. It's still, it's still processing. It's still loading. So just give it. A, you gotta have patience with your with, with your VM. Just have patience with it. Uh, I'm gonna go into the start menu. All right. I'm gonna go to Windows administration and we're gonna hit Active Directory using computers. Now, if it's working properly, he should just only have access to reset passwords. He won't have access to do all these other things. That would just that would just be insane, right? You know. So immediately you notice, right? It's missing. He's missing. So look, his his uh his OU is up here. It just got redirected. Just moved up, which is fine. It does an alphabetical order. It's like over here when you close it and reopen it again. It's supposed to be alphabetical order. And anyway, put it up there. So that's pretty cool. It actually organizes it. All right. So let's go back. Yeah. So. How do you know if it works? So basically, uh, Kevin, how do you know it works? So you go to the, remember I created this other account called Patty, right? If you right click on Patty and you hit properties, it should just be, everything should be grayed out. That's how you know it works. So everything is grayed out. That means it actually works. That means you're only able to reset passwords. How do you confirm even further? Um, you right click on it, you do reset password and you're able to reset the password. So with this functionality, you're able to unlock and reset the password. That's the purpose of today and what we're doing today. So I want you to, as someone that, that that has a server, I want you to practice this. I want you to give people different, I want you to create multiple accounts and give people different access to different things and see how it works in your VM, if that makes sense. This is a good practice actually. So then when you go to a job interview, you could say, um, yeah, I have a, cause, cause a lot of people get, a lot of people have been getting jobs by the way, because they talk about their project or their lab. Yeah, I have a VM set up or I have a server set up in my house where I basically delegate control to a certain specific user and or, or a client, and they're only able to reset passwords. I, I also have another account that they're only able to add people to certain security groups, you know, so you could talk about that in, in the actual job into you. So that's the first thing I wanted to go over. The next thing I want to go over is I'm going to do, uh, let's do control alt delete. I'm going to lock this computer. I'm going to go over delegate control. So I'm going to do is I'm going to hit uh, I did delegate control. Sorry, I'm gonna go over unlock unlock passwords, right? Like passwords getting locked out. So I'm gonna just I'm just spamming the living hell out of this right now. So I'm trying to lock him out, basically. Yeah, he's locked out. All right. So Kev, okay, what do you do? What are you trying to show me? Okay, so just pretend that this is a client and he's locked out, right? So you have this thing called um, account lockout tool. So in your job, you may not be able to use this. You may you may or you may not. Depends what company you work for, right? So. I have to go over here and I have the tools for it. So I'm going to, I'm going to start from the beginning. I don't want to confuse everyone. So I'm going to go here. I'm an empty recycle bin. I'm going to go to the, to my, to my um, C drive. I'm going to go to downloads. I'm going to see if it's anything in here. There's nothing in here. I'm going to go to the Google Chrome and I'm just going to open that up real quick. I'm going to do account lockout tool. I'm going to download that real quick. It's the first one. I'll leave it below in the description. So you guys know where to download it. And I'm going to grab that real quick. And I'm gonna hit show in folder. I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna throw it into Kev Tech Lab. So remember, I have this folder correct. I have this folder redirection for my lab. So I am gonna go into my C drive, this PC. Uh, we don't need this anymore, so I'm gonna inject that. We're gonna go into devices. Remember, I, I created this share folder, right? You, I don't know if you guys remember, but in my, one of my first labs, I did that. So I'm gonna mount the drive. I'm gonna hit other. I'm gonna to go to downloads. I'm gonna to go to KevTech Labs. I'm gonna hit select. Um, I'm gonna put auto mount. Okay, okay. And just give it a give it a second. It should show up. There we go. I'm gonna grab this A. This is the account lockout tool. I'm gonna to grab it and drag it over here. It should let me grab it, and I'm gonna install it. And like, Kevin, what does this do? You're about to see right now. Um, uh, it says you want me to extract to a specific specific place. I'm going to make it in documents. I'm going to put it right over here. I'm going to hit OK. There we go. And I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to hit Recycle Bin. I'm going to hit Yes, Delete it. So I'm going to go into documents, and they have all these apps right here. So this is Account Lockout tool. I want to click on that. And I'm going to do is I'm going to – so what, what does this do, by the way? You're like, this is, this is Bobby. What the hell is that? So this tells you who got locked out and what got locked – who got locked out and how many times they attempted to log in – um, when they try to log in. So why is this important? Because if you're doing help desk, sometimes you have limitations of what you could do. 
But if you have permission to do this, it will help you out as an IT person. So then you know where they're getting locked out of. You know how many times they try to log in and you know how many times they have a bad password attempt. It tells you all that information. And this app is completely free and it's Microsoft. It's Microsoft application. It's not some random app that you're downloading on the fly. So you go talk to your manager, ask him if you're able to do this. If you if you can, awesome. If you can't not, then it's all right. right. We'll figure out other ways to do it, right? So you do select target. I'm going to put Scott in here. All right. I'm going to hit OK. So what it does is it, it grabs your domain controller. It grabs data from the domain controller. It's just grabbing data from the whole the whole OUs or everything. And it's trying to see if it's trying to see the account Scott. And it's trying to see if they're getting locked, if they're locked out at all from something. So it tells you right here, look, DC name, server 2016. Status, he's currently locked out. So now you know he's locked out. It's not just it's, it's not just like he, you know, it's just he's locked out. Obviously, he's locked out. And you 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 could tell they're locked out. So if, if anyone calls you and they can't log into their computer and they're having all these weird issues, right? Before before you do anything, come over here and, and see what's locking them out. You want to figure that out. And you want to figure out how many times they tried a bad password attempt. Four times. Look at that. Last bad password attempt was 1207. So he tried to log in at 1207. He locked himself out at 1207. Uh, password last set. So this is the last time that his password was created or last set, which was 327, 2021. And then lockout time, 327, 2021. If you go all the way to the right, it tells you he's getting locked out of that domain controller server 2016. What is this server 2016? This is the server that I'm, I'm on right now. This is server 2016 right over here. This PC, you right click on this PC. It's getting locked out of server 2016.kevtech.com. So now do you confirm that he's actually locked out of the system, right? You don't have to do, you don't have to worry about it because you know he's locked out. So all you got to do is just unlock him. So, okay. All right, Scott, I'll take care of you real quick. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. And I'm just going to go ahead and unlock his account. Scott, can you please try again? Yes, Kevin, I'm going to try to log in again. Let me know if it works. Otherwise, I'm going to have to reset your password, but let me know if it works. And then you log in and it works. There we go. So that's the purpose of account lockout status tool. It tells you what server is locking them out. There's a different, there's other ones. There's, there's different ones, by the way. There, there, there are other different apps like, like Stealth Bits is another one. That's the one that I use in my job. So if you guys have access to Stealth Bits, I recommend you download that and install it on a, on a, on a, uh, on a domain controller. It tells you what server they're getting locked out of. It tells you the IP address of the device that's locking them out. And it tells you when they got locked out and it tells you what keeps locking them out. So like if they have a mobile phone, like if they change their password and they try the password too many times, it tells you like, oh, they're getting locked out of their, their mobile phone. Or they're getting locked out because there's a computer that's still online that has their old password synced on it. And I'm going over that in depth because that's super duper important. That's very important. You guys, every single time you have no idea. I have those issues where uh, a client uh, forgets to change their password and then they're getting locked out of everything. Cause like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I have, I have a tablet. Oh, I forgot to tell you about that. That tablet has my password on it. I forgot to tell you about it. It has my old password. That's why I keep getting locked out. So then you have to go and you know change the password on their tablet and update it. So they keep they stop getting locked out. So that that's pretty much it. That's why I'm going over this. Obviously, uh, I'm I'm gonna make some more videos and go over other stuff. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully, you understand what I did today. Hopefully, this makes sense. Um, I should leave a comment down below and let me know if you use a come lockout status tool. I I use it in my job. No one says anything to me. I'm allowed to use it. But in your job, you probably not. So just be careful what you do in your job and make sure you get proper approval. Okay. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and stay tuned for another video on my labs. Take care. Peace.